Do you find it difficult to make photography business decisions? In this video, I'm going to show you a method that will help you make the right priorities and decisions. Hi, I'm Kim from landscape to art And when you set up and run a landscape photography business, you have to make a, a lot of priorities. Some are easy and straightforward, but the more complex they are, and the more choices you have, the more difficult it becomes to make good and qualified decisions. As a business owner, you have to manage both your time and your money in the most effective way. And we all know that can be really hard from time to time. Our brains tends to remember sketches and frameworks better than plain text, like when you write a business plan. And one way to take advantage of this is to organize the information in a two-dimensional matrix format. So let me show you a couple of examples. So the idea here is to, to draw a, a, a two-dimensional matrix. So I'm, I'm drawing a horizontal line and a vertical line. And how I'm, how I'm labeling these lines depends on what you are after, what you're looking to achieve. But in this case, it's, it's about a, a business setup. So I have a big to-do list with a lot of things that I, I, I want to do. So on the x-axis, I, I will set put up how like, I mean, how important this task is to make profit to the business. So I'm, I'm calling this profit, profit low. That means it's not a very important task to get done when you start it, start up. And then I copy this one and add it on, on the end here. And that, and here is the profit, it, the like likelihood to get a good profit from this activity is high. High. And similarly on, on the Y axis here, it's, it's about urgency, how quick you should start this activity. Should you do it now or, or can it wait? That's important decision to, to make. So I'm copying another here. And for this, I will call it urgency later. And the one on the top here is, that means this task is going to bring profit into the business. I, I need to take action and, and make this as soon as possible. Now I'm, I'm having a list of tasks I, I want to do and you have to create a product. And if you're running a business, a product is of course the most important of everything. If you don't have a product, you don't have a business. So creating a product is urgent. You need to get that going now. And that's what will, what will yield pro profit in, in the business. So it has to end up somewhere here, high profit and high urgency. And then I drag in email list. You need to start an email list, build an email list to, because that's the, the best or the most important assets you have in a business. So an email list is something you should start more or less from day one. And when you have a good targeted email list, it's, it's the one that brings in profit as well. So it, it should end somewhere up on the profit side here and urgency also in, in this quadrant. If you're running a selling photography, selling photos, you need a website or, or any photographer business needs a website that's where you bring your customers and and potential clients so a website is also something that you should start creating quickly but the website itself doesn't make profit so maybe you don't build a website before you you can start an email list and and attract email uh, clients before you actually build a website. A lot of photographers do social media. So setting up Instagram is probably on the priority of a lot of 
photographers. But unless you're, unless Instagram is your main uh, way of marketing, it should be placed far down here. Very, you don't need to start it now. And and also the profit is low. You won't bring any profit with Instagram. Same with Facebook. If you plan to make Facebook pages and and so spending a lot of time on Instagram and Facebook when you're starting up the business, if this is not your main or core marketing channels, doesn't make any sense. You can't do them all. In my example, and, and I'm creating YouTube videos and, and, and my marketing channel is, is to create YouTube videos. And, and in that case, YouTube videos doesn't bring in any profit as such, but they are the marketing channel. So I, I need to start quickly. And, and if I have started a, a, a YouTube channel, I can bring uh, leads to my e mailing list, even though I don't have a website. So I will put this on relatively high up on urgency, but low on, on profit. No one makes money directly on YouTube until you have a lot of, of uh, uh, traffic. And then we have a business card, which is something a lot of people are starting with, spending a lot of time on making a perfect business card. But business cards doesn't bring in any, in any profit. So down here somewhere. So this is just an example of how, how you can do this. And of course, it depends which business you are running and, and how you are running your business. If you are mainly using Instagram. Instagram maybe should be positioned here instead of YouTube videos. If YouTube is not on your list at all, it's, it's place it far down. So then Instagram might be the, the thing that you should focus on. So this is just an example how you can use the matrix and you, you play around with your, your different tasks and your task might be totally different from the ones I have used in this example. So for the purpose of showing you, this is how you use the matrix. And also how you name or label these uh, axes are also depends what you are, are looking for. The second example is about profitability of a product versus the time it takes to start making money from it. And the idea is to create income as fast as possible when you start a business. Many landscape photographers, they start businesses even without having a clear idea about what their revenue stream is going to be. If you want more business ideas for landscape photographers, you can download my free PDF and you'll find a link in the description below the video. So here is the, the second example and it's to help you make the right product decisions, which products to, to make. On the x-axis here is profit, so it means these products on yields low profit or likely you yield a low profit, at least in the beginning. And on, on, on the right here is, the, is high product, high profit products. And on the x-axis in this example, I'm, I'm looking at the production time. And with that, I mean how quickly you can produce the product, how quickly you can start making money from the product. And the shorter production time, the, short, the shorter time it takes you for you to start making money, the better it is. So let me drag in, I, I made a few of few example products here. So an ebook is your own product. So when you sell an ebook, e you will have quite a good profit. But a production time can take, it can take some while to, to, to make a book unless you are a proficient writer. So I'll put the book here on somewhere in the center. And then a lot of landscape photographers, they are selling prints. And if you have a portfolio, the, the way to, to market the prints are relatively short. So you can, you can start selling prints more or less immediately. But the profit margin on prints is not the very best because it's a physical product, so so you you have to do the work also with the printing and and the framing. So profit is not the best, and it's also recently 
become more and more difficult to sell prints. If you're on YouTube, like I showed you in the example, selling ads is another uh, way of making profit and selling ads is like in the YouTube partner program, you, you can sell ads, but you need to have a huge amount of traffic to make a decent amount of, of, of money from it. So, and it also takes time to, you, you, you have to run your channel for a long time before you have no, enough traffic to, to start getting paid for ads. So, so it, it's a long production time and the profit is relatively low. And then we have something that's similar, it's affiliate sales. And affiliate sales is something you can start immediately. As soon as you start a blog or a YouTube channel and you start getting some traffic, you can start to add links to, to affiliates. And affiliates tends to be more profitable. It depends what affiliate program you're using. So it's more profit and it's, it's a shorter runway to get it going. So you will make money from affiliate sales before you're selling ads. Then I have coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is a possibility. And you can do that immediately if you have some photography skills, some special skills in photography. There is always a lot of photographers that know less than you that are interesting in, in, in learning from you. So that can be a, a high profit and, and also a short production time. You can get started more or less immediately. And then we have presets, which is uh, your own digital product, relatively short production time. And, and with digital products, you can sell them over and over again. So the profit is, is high and production time is relatively short. If you already know how to, to use Lightroom and make presets and, and know how to make actions in Photoshop, that's an option. And then we have bigger digital courses, which takes time to build and and but has a very high profitability when you have a, a good course set up. So high profit, but it takes longer time to 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 produce. And finally, here I I have workshops, which is also a common way for landscape photographers to to make profit. And with a workshop, it's the production time is depends on your experience, but you can expect it to take some time to make and, and but the profit can be, can be really high from, from workshops. And the more experienced you are, the more higher prices you can charge. So this is just an example again, how, how I can make decisions about which products to make. And it all depends on in, at what stage you are in your photography business. Some of these products are of course, if you have a huge uh, YouTube channel with a lot of traffic, ad, ad traffic is probably gonna be up here. It's this, still profit is low, but, but you can immediately start to sell ads. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have used Google Draw, but you can also use PowerPoint if, if you find that more convenient. You can, you can draw and sketch with PowerPoint. And of course, even pen and paper if, if you prefer that. If you're doing this manually, like on a, you can do it on a whiteboard as well and using post-it notes and colored post-it notes. But the thing is to make this matrix exercise working is you have to be able to move the different tasks around. Using a matrix like, like this doesn't solve all the problems 100%. The time to finish a product will change as you get more experience and, and when you know how to make them. So therefore you, you might have to update the matrix as you go. The same way you can't estimate exactly which activities and products that will be the most profitability in, in the future, because that's, this also changes as you, as you grow your business. But with this matrix, it's far more likely that you will make the right decisions than not using it. So it's a great tool for, to create clarity in, in your planning. I have another video right over here about productivity and why many photographers struggle to get things done. 
so go watch that video next. And now if you like this video consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching and until next time, hadebra, goodbye.